Welcome back to Prison Architects, everybody. Welcome back to Pog Slammer. Oh, that escape. Can't believe it. It's irritating. Irritating AF really is. Who are you? What? You tried to escape? How dare you? <gasps> they found another... Oh, my God. If those girls had connected up to that cell, there would have been another two gone. I'm really glad that the first three decided to be selfish and escape when they did. You got you girls. Who are you? Clara Sandy? Fuck you, Clara Sandy. <laughs> oh, and Elia. Oh, my God. You! You! Well, they're being bumped up now anyway, as far as I can tell. They, they're bumped up to maximum security, because that was the rules we set for them. Um... Of course, oh no, I was going to say, in all, the, in all the madness, I think we've missed the new prisoners, but here they come. Of course, they're turning up during a shakedown, that's a good image to give them. Hancock? Is that the same Hancock we had before? Or do we have two Hancocks now? My God, look at all these prisoners turning up. This is, this is going to be a mess while we're doing the, uh, the, the, the search of the cells and stuff. Broomfield? Brown, Nash, Silent, Clark, Montalban, Williams. How many more? Oh my god, there's another bus. This is a lot of money though, isn't it? it it's worth it for the, mo the moolah. Oh my god. Weiner and Morris had a bus themselves. Oh, Red Wing Morris. A quiet one from a suburban neighbourhood, she built a name in cybercrime. She's a cyber criminal. It was only a matter of time before the word cyber was dropped from a crime, so she never dropped a radius. Sentenced to 40 years for multiple crimes, including torture, violent disorder, and assault. The fuck? Look at this rap sheet. Jesus. This girl's a mess. I'm keeping my eye on you, Morris. What? I mean... It's all just... It's a horrendous look. It's like a double violent disorder, double kidnapping, double assault, with some torture thrown on for good measure. You are a bad person. Honestly. Bad Theresa Morris. Bad. She's only 21 years old. Oh, Catherine Weiner. Weiner? Weiner? Weiner. Uh, 30, uh, she's a torturer as well. What is with all these torturers coming into our prison? Can you teach some of the, uh, the lippy normal security girls a lesson, please? Uh, here you go, this is, this is a bit normal normal. Murder, manslaughter, and assaulting an officer. She's only for 52 years. Some of these girls are not getting out of here for shit. Dana was a rebel all her life, always getting into trouble, though it seemed difficult for her to get out of it. Okay. Aggravated assault, that's not bad. 12 years, you know. Who knows what the aggravated assault was about. Maybe she worked in one of those costumes, you know, on the side of the street, promoting some kind of business. And, uh, of course, people just just ragged on her. Um, oh, my God, are you go? Oh, they're in here cleaning. Okay. Let's get this Let's get this system hooked up, shall we, with the door system? Uh, yeah, maybe they, they were just ragging on her, you know, for looking like an idiot when she was in, in a costume. Oh, door timer. That's not what I wanted. Uh, in, in her costume, you know. Which is not fair, because everybody's got to earn a, a living. Doesn't matter what you got to do. Um, but, you know, sometimes people can be cruel. I, I, people are cruel sometimes, all the time, sometimes, never. It, it, I guess it just depends on the kind of person you are, doesn't it, really? Uh, we haven't put... Oh, we haven't put a camera in the, uh, the common room. The old awesome alcoholics common room. What? She's been... Ah. Oh. Ravenwing. A thief who was once said to have wings stole quite a bit of precious things until her wings were clipped. Also said to have dabbled in witchcraft and making things from nothing. Sentenced to 26 years for multiple crimes of manslaughter and perjury. Okay. She's got a pretty big family, though. Look at that. She's got a husband, daughter, son and daughter. And her mum and dad are still alive. You know, 36 years old. She's got a nice trendy haircut as well. And she's just been packed with luxuries, look. She was like a luxury mule. Just, I don't even know how she managed to get all of those up her keister. They found, like, watches, you know. Uh, excuse me. A Monopoly board. Um, I, I don't know, like, four cartons of cigarettes. 
two bottles of vodka, uh, some new mobile phones, perhaps. You know, just all, all of it was in her keister. And uh, from the looks of it, a hammer as well, just a hammer up there. Which is, I mean, that's probably the most painful thing, right? Sticking a hammer up your, uh, up your ass. Uh, up your asshole, uh, as, as you know, they say. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's stop talking about uh, old Emma, Emma Ravenwing, Lawrence uh, asshole, shall we? And let's, let's get back to decorating these kitchens and canteens. So, we need some tables and benches, don't we? And uh, I think we're going to leave a little bit of room for some recreational stuff in this canteen. But uh, let's, let's, let's cram them in. Let's really cram the girls. Oh, we don't need to cram them in, do we? Look. Well, maybe we should. I'm going to move the door. I did say I was going to move the door. So, um, yeah, we're going to cram them in like that. And then the door's going to be just there uh, where, you know, I originally thought I might put the door and then decided against to. Uh, <laughs> which is fine. That's absolutely fine. Of course, it's really difficult for the girls to get onto these seats, which is, which is what we want. We want them to have a little bit of a tussle. You know, it's got to be some, some kind of pecking order. Of course, I put this servo on here. I didn't even think about it, did I? Let's, uh, let's move over here instead. Let's just waste some money buying a servo when we're dismantling one. Um, please, please don't punch yourself in the, the balls too hard. Uh, how many of these seats have we got? One, two, three, six, you know. Six per table, five tables, 30 seats. We probably need some more, don't we? Should we, should we double up on the tables a little bit? Just, just down here. We're just going to put two more, I think. Just two more. This is going to be the max security uh, canteen, I think. And we need a serving table as well, which is always always nicely placed over on this wall. We're just going to have the one. Again, we can have a little bit of a tussle for... Uh, max security prisoners need to know what's up, don't they? They, they, they need to know there's, there's a pecking order that they have to abide to. And uh, that pecking order is decided by them. Um... So we're going to give them two, because um, you know I'm I'm I like going back on what I just said. Um, but what we are going to do is set them up with some nice TVs, you know, a nice TV time. Um, we'll put some some chairs down like this because this is how the TVs work now. Uh, I, I did say this before. Can we put a big TV in? There is a nice big TV, large TV. There we go. Oh, it's going to. It's going to bug me that it's off-centre. Let's just give them a normal TV. It's max security, after all. We don't want them getting too comfortable. Um, do we have anything else nice we can give them? Hmm. What do you reckon, guys? Maybe uh, an arcade machine? Yeah, let's give them an arcade machine. You know, what canteen is complete without an arcade machine? Uh, uh, right. There. <laughs> I don't know where else to put it, really. Maybe we could put some prayer mats down here, or that might be a little bit annoying. Uh, could get another table in, perhaps. That'd probably be a bit of a squeeze. I think I'd rather have the TV sign there and just leave a little gap. God, look at these guys go. Come on, guys, get this canteen set up, and let's get this kitchen on the go as well. We need this new kitchen. It right, looks like we got some money from parole, I think. I mean, we're certainly up on our money, considering we're spending it all. Um, now, let's put... Cooker here, cooker here, a cooker here, and a cooker here. So that's four cookers. Oh. Okay, cooker here then. We'll get, we're going to repeat the same up here. Maybe we'll put another camera in. Maybe we'll put a bin just there. We're going to put some uh, some fridges down the side. Can we get three? We can. Look at that. That's nice. And uh, a sink just there. I think that one's too close, isn't it? That one's a bit too close. They just need one sink. One sink will be fine for them. And we'll give them a, we'll give them a radio, because it's nice for the cooks to have a radio to listen to while they're, they're working, of course, because we pay most of them. But uh, the prisoners do come and, and take lessons, cookery lessons, you know, and uh, I think a radio helps keep them calm, which is probably for the best when, when we're giving them big knives, even if they are plastic ones. Uh, right, let's get this door, door system and stuff hooked up anyway. So, new door control system, which are missing. Is this hooked up? hooked up. That one's not. That one's not. That one's not. Yeah, this, the, the, these are all hooked up. Yeah. Um, yeah, looks looks good. I, I don't think we put any new, new doors down that aren't hooked up now. That's good. So all the doors are hooked in. Let's get CCTV cameras hooked up next. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, 
Any others that aren't hooked in? I can't see any flashing little red icons. Alright, who's got drugs? Shit, I just realised our shakedown's not complete. You know what? Fuck it. I think, I think we're done with the shakedown. <laughs> Always be, all our guards are just going to be off trying to search like one or two places that they probably can't get to anymore or something. Um, well, at least this canteen's completed. Let's deploy this as MacSec only. Let's deploy this as MinSec only. Uh, MinSec? Medium sec. Same for the kitchens. We're going to have a MacSec kitchen and a MinSec kitchen. We're going to assign some jobs into that one. We can get four jobs on the go, apparently. I think that's because we haven't got the uh, the rest of the equipment in, isn't it? And uh, we're going to hook this shit right up to that system there. And we're going to have to get some pipes over here because we haven't extended the pipes over here yet. I think we're going to... Um, I think we'll run the pipe along the bottom like that. Just for now. And uh, I think then we just need to run a small pipe up to the sink. Is that the only one that needs it? I think that's the only one that needs it. Okay. Do we want to put some toilets in this canteen? That could be quite nice, couldn't it? What? Why is nobody escorted Ravenwing to her cell yet? Can somebody come and please escort Ravenwing? There we go. To her cell. God damn it, she was just hanging around. Whoa, 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 there's a fight breaking out. Gabriella Donny, stop it. What's this? Is, is is she some kind of snitch or something? Um, let's have a look. What have we got? Gabriella Donny? No. What about Candice Sloop? No? Is that the, the same Candice who won British Bake Off, do you think? She thinks she's turned to a life of crime. Well, Carlton Hotel, Cannes France Hall, 45 billion thieves, a trio of machine gun enthusiasts. Well, what? When the police arrived, they noticed a curious fact there were no bullet holes in the walls and pieces been firing blanks. The fuck was that? I don't even know what that description is supposed to be. Uh, I think it's the same Candice who won... Let's zoom out a little bit, that's loud. The same Candice who won Great British Bake Off, isn't it? I mean, maybe she, she wasn't happy with the grand prize that they gave her. Maybe it's this is her... She protested, you know, the fact that it was going to Channel 4 and uh, ended up in prison. Um, I, I'm not sure what's going on there, though. I've got a feeling that, uh... Whoa. Oh, Lily Clark. You son of a bitch. I've got a feeling that old Gabriella Donny here might might have something... Something in her past that she's not telling us about. You know? Let's see if we can get, uh... Ah! Oh, Holly the Fox Brown, you're our CI. I totally forgot about that. You son of a bitch. What are you doing up here? She attacked a prisoner. And she was in, what, in, an, in in the medical ward? Attacked a prisoner. Yeah, it looks like these two have been having a rumble in the infirmary. Can you fucking believe that? The cheek of Holly the Fox Brown. I, I've got to do something about her. We're going to do something about her in here. We're going to build, like, a tiny supermax section in the next execution chamber. Just to let her know what it was that, uh... Oh, shit. We're, we're going to have to get... Let's, let's just hire another nurse. Are we going to get another scrubs member? Who do we need? I think we've got Elliot, we've got Turk, we've got, uh, Dr. Cox. Oh, it's, it's, um, uh, Carla, isn't it? Sweet, so we've got Carla as well this time. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm, I'm sorry, Turk 2. Uh, you're actually sacked. I know we just hired you, but... Come on, Carla. Look after her. We don't want to lose Gabriella. Oh, thank God for that. She's all better now. And of course, Sloop, Candice Sloop as well. I mean, why is Lily Clark injured? She wasn't even doing anything, look. She, she wasn't doing shit. She didn't attack anybody. She just got brutally attacked in the corridor, I think. She's not fair. You know, Lily Clark's... She, she, she was probably doing pretty well. I don't know if she was... Uh, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, we got, we got an ex-law enforcement over here. Camilla Shopland. She, she served half a year of her sentence. Half a year... And now she's dead. At the hands of uh, Dana Clearwater. We're going to keep an eye on you. you. You literally just came in here. Okay. You can't be causing this trouble. You do not want to be like Holly the Fox Brown. But you know what? Fuck it. We're keeping an eye on you. <laughs> we got our second Supermax prisoner. Let's uh, let's go to intelligence. What What's going on? 
Do we have any snitches? Apart from the dead one. You know, it's a little bit late. We should probably do this when the new prisoners come in, but I, I always just forget, to be honest with you. Let's have a look. I, it's pretty small to look at now. Uh, I think we need to get one of our CIs in, honestly. They've both got no 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 suspicion. So uh, let's, let's keep the game rolling. Let's get the intelligence screen back up. I can't see any other snitches, any other... What are you doing? Munty Munta McMuntface. We're searching you. Are you nearly up on your sentence? Are you going to get a longer sentence now because we're finding shit on you? I don't know why she'd be hanging out down here. But you know what? We're going to make this bit of staff only. Bam. Problem solved, eh? If anybody's in there now, we know they're up to any good. Okay, Munty McMuntface didn't have anything on her. Sorry about that, Munty. You know, I know, I know it's tough being searched like that, but you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And we need to make sure you don't have anything... Why is that greyed out? I don't even know. Um, we need to make sure that she doesn't have anything, you know, again, stored in her keister. There's a lot of keister talk in the last couple of episodes. Um, I think it's, it's, you know, it's pretty common in prison, right? You, you do chat about keisters. Oh, look at these potential CIs. Let's, let's get some potential CIs, shall we? So who's this? Clara Sandy. Right, you're a potential CI. You are now a CI. Who have we got on these cells? Can I click on them yet? No? It's because we can't can't quite see them. We've got to wait until the guard goes past, I think. Come on, guard. Oh, for goodness. Oh, what's this? Automation. Initially, the player would not be required to do any... round... man... manned running? I've, I don't know what that means. Uh, well, that's nice. We got ourselves a, a new page, anyway. Now we're going to have to go all the way back out. Back into the intelligence. Back into informants. And of course we've missed our opportunity to select them now. Wonderful. Um, is this guard going patrol far enough? I think we need to extend the guard patrol, don't we? We need to get rid of this little fence. Just here. And then extend the guard patrol out. Where's the patrol? Yeah, let you see. We need to... Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, we need to extend it. Otherwise, we're going to have two separate patrols there, which we probably don't want. I mean, this, this area is a bit more secure now. And like I said, we're probably going to divide these up in a different way anyway. Um, we should probably do that soon, to be fair. We're going to have two of these cells so we can switch them around. I mean, we're basically just going to keep that as normal. The problem is we've got a full one normal here and we, we want to get some, some minimum security prisoners in as well. What is going on with the water? I keep seeing flickering water icons. I don't know if you guys are spotting that or not. But, uh... Can we... Is he getting the last pipe in? Oh, look. They've done, like, half half the pipe all the way along. You know, they can't just start from one end and go to the other. They've got to, they've got to really make, make their job harder, these builders. They like, they like to make their job as hard as possible. Um, hard and long, of course. Because that's, that's what builders in prison architects seem to like doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> but for now, we are going to put down some concrete tiles. Like this. We can do that. Yep, we're losing half of these trees again, of course. Trees that, some of the trees we've only just planted. Uh, I guess we could extend it along like that, couldn't we? Or maybe we should, like, create some kind of separate areas. I don't know. For now, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it for now. We'll, we'll just get the path connected up so that it can... Oh, there is a concrete tile there. Yeah, so that it can, you know, they can go a little bit faster along there and, and get into this part if they need to. God, what do we do next? Hmm. Looks like we need to run some power into this corridor. Which is fine. We've got the canteen and we've got the kitchen. Those are the max security things, which is separated stuff out. We've got two showers as well. Can we, uh... No, that's just one room. Maybe we need to make another one of those, like, common room, shower, combination, oven things. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they are, yeah, they do use both, which is good. So, I think maybe we need to... Where are the cameras? I think we need to put one camera there. And possibly one camera there. It's just me removing one of these phones. Which is fine, we can remove one of these phones. Uh, and then I think... We'll have some better coverage over the showers. Because at the moment... Oh, come on, where's the construction worker? Who's coming to do this job for me? 
Get in here. What the? Something's going on. Something shit is going down in the shower room. We we need to deploy two guards here. Uh, who's who's died now? Elizabeth Canal. I don't even know why. They're just having a fucking brawl. There's there's no reason for it. They've all decided to pile into one shower and have a brawl. Jesus Christ. Why did she die? The heart stealer. Uh oh. You know what happened here, don't you? Basically, she's stolen somebody's man. And uh, now she's in prison with whoever that was. You know, maybe she even set that person up so that they ended up in prison so she could steal their man, you know, while they were out of the picture. But, uh, of course, something went wrong. And uh, the man probably realized what was going on, decided to set her up so that she'd end up in prison. And, uh, of course, all of these scorned women uh, who've fallen prey to her, her t tactics, they're in here. You know, they couldn't believe their luck. What is it saying here, anyway? In October 2013, Elizabeth Canal encountered a handsome man named Roland Schief. She exploited her amazing Spanish accent and mesmerizing beauty to get closer to him. She gained his trust and then kidnapped him while he was kidnapping her. Okay. Well, I mean, she's in here for carjacking and perjury and vandalism and burglary, but... I guess it doesn't matter anymore, does it? You're dead now. That's what happens. Jesus Christ, it's not been a good couple of episodes. We've had a lot of deaths. We've had a lot of escapes. I mean, we've got Theresa Morris here, unconscious, almost dead. Got to be carted halfway across the prison, of course, to get up to the infirmary, which is going to be better once things are all connected up. But right now, Jesus Christ, it's quite hard work for them, isn't it? I mean, we should probably start spending some more money on foundations. I think, I think it may be time, guys. I don't know. I kind of want to... No, let's let's get... We're going to make a start on extending. Okay? It's important. It's really important. Oh, it's not even going to let me look. Can we do it like that? We can do it like that. No? We can't... Oh, we can't build foundations right up to the edge, guys. Um, okay. Can I... Out of interest, where can I put a guard tower? Not on the edge. All right, we're going to leave a gap of two. Uh, I know I said I was going in a minute. We, we will be going in a minute, but we're going to leave a gap of two, okay? I'm going to pause it while we're not looking at the prison so that we can get some guard towers down the side, which means this planning, this planning is bumped. It, it doesn't mean shit. Um, this planning is where it's at, okay? This is the planning that we care about now. We don't give a shit about this, this planning. We might. Because, you know, we may we may put a fence that leads up to the guard towers and cuts across the side or something. Or maybe one of the external walls. We could even buy some more land and make like a proper a proper Fort Knox style wall system going on, which could be kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know how long I'll keep playing it for. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving playing it. Don't get me wrong. But I think we might. Uh, we'll hit a point where there's not a lot we can do. Especially with the shape that we've given ourselves. Um... It, 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 there will just come a time when we can no longer, you know, put anything in here. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, which is fine. That was kind of the intention. You know, we, we, we set out with that intention. We wanted to make a really cool kind of central centralized prison like this with our super max and protective custody and things on the outside over here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to finish up here. We're going to put these foundations down and then wait for the, uh, the the construction guys to come over and do it. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because we are waiting for some more money to come in. I also noticed that we're, we're low on guards again, so you know what? Two, three, four, five. And they're going to have to go and get their tasers on the go. And that leaves us with three grand. No, three grand's all right. We've got a new kitchen on the go and we've got a new canteen on the go. I think we're going to have to do something something cool with this yard, but we won't do that yet. We are going to build some more cells here and here. And we're going to have to do some kind of shuffle, aren't we? We're going to have to mark these as max and these as, as medium, perhaps. Um, did we get... We didn't get more... Oh, we didn't buy more guard dogs, did we? I think we need more guard dogs. Where are the guard dogs? Uh, one, two... And we need a couple of kennels for them, because it's not fair. They, they can't... There we go. There we go. A couple more kennels for them. Um, because, of course, we need... We need some sniffer dog roots. Over here, as you can see. 
and we only had four sniffer dogs before which means that they weren't sniffing everybody in the yard as well uh, so many so many places that we have to patrol you know so many dogs so many actual guards that we need um, and there we go that's that's one dog per route so occasionally they're not going to have all of them but look at this place this place is looking great you know thank you very much for watching me me build this place over the the last however many episodes it's been 20 something episodes it's it's looking really good i think when i've finished it i'll try and uh i know you can like upload them to steam workshops and shit maybe i'll do that because it'd be kind of cool and uh you guys can try and escape from it and we can see see how many people can manage to escape it because that'd be kind of cool the escape mode's really really fun you know you got to build up a gang of, of followers and stuff maybe we'll try it i i don't know I'll, I'll see if there's any demand for it or not i've never done it before we could even try it in 3d mode which would be kind of funky wouldn't it so but yeah thank you for watching guys i mean i haven't said it very often recently but do press the like button because i i like it when you like and i like it when you comment i like it even more when people people subscribe uh which you should do when there's all this wonderful content for you to watch uh but yeah for now thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video